going to be unboxing the Lumigen Radiance Pro, which is a 4K video processor that can do a slew of things, it's essentially everything you need. Uh, this Pro model is the 4446. It comes with uh, 18 gigahertz cards, uh, which are important for certain devices. Um, so we're, we're going to go ahead and unbox it, and then we'll show it in the rack. in a second, that's the main unit, and this looks like an accessories box, okay, okay, and in the accessories box, let's see what we get, okay, we get the power cable, the remote, which looks very similar to the one I had for the Radiance Mini 3D. It may be the same remote model. The, oh, okay. This is the other part of the power cable. Put the oh, USB. Ah, the much needed rack ears. Yes. instruction manual. I'm going to need this. All right, let's take a look. So here we have the unit itself. Pull the styrofoam off. Gentle. This is not an inexpensive unit. It costs quite a bit. Okay. Slide it out front facing. Okay. It's the Lumigen. Now we're going to take a look at it in the rack. So, with this, the Lumigen, you take out these two screws and you replace them with the screws supplied. They are a little longer than the ones that come that that come with the chassis, and they have a um, a raised head, as opposed to a flush head. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove these. Make sure you put them somewhere, not where you're new screws are if you don't want to mix them up okay new screw go ahead and place that rack ear where it needs to be just want to kind of feel around for the hole there we go loosely tighten don't tighten it too much that's no fun for anybody because you can with any equipment if you over tighten screws you can damage the internal components okay so now that it's secure give it a little make it a little snug okay and that's that all right so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and place this into this rack over here so let's get this started it's time to get this party started
Okay, here we are in the equipment room. Here's a quick look at the rack so far. Uh, so this is a Lumigen Pro, Radiance Pro. So it's a very um, simple uh, faceplate, which is good. This right here is the IR sensor. This is the power indicator. We just have some, you know, like a Radiance Pro 4K video processor, HDMI, and Darby Visual Presence for 2K content. <laughs> I never, never thought I'd see the day where 1080p is now 2K because it's been superseded by 4K. All right, let's take a look at the back of the Radiance Pro. Okay, here we are the rear of the Lumigen Radiance Pro. So let's take a close look because there's some things that I think are important to get here. Uh, first, see the fan vents. Uh, this unit does have a fan. It, it, it can run hot. Um, and uh, I know that it has a temperature sensor. So uh, just be mindful um, where you're placing this. If you're placing this in a living room, then try to keep it as ventilated as possible so that you keep the fan noise to a minimum. Now let's, go, let's look at the inputs and the outputs here. <clears throat> so each input and output is uh, designated as either 18G or 9G. So this unit, let's take a look here. Input 1, it's 18G. Input 2, 3 and 4 are 18G. Input 5, 6, 7 and 8 are 9G, which is a gigahertz. Uh, that's the RS-232, IRN, USB. That's the power. Now we go to the outputs. We see here outputs one and two are 18. I'm sorry, output one is for audio. Output two is 18 gigahertz. Then output three and four are nine gigahertz. Up here we have two triggers. I'm sure I'll be using the, these triggers to turn my projector on because there's no reason for the projector to be off if the video processor is on. Now that's how I had it set up in my previous theater with my Radiance Mini 3D. That's how I'm going to set it up here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this audio output. It's going to be sent up to this Anthem, Anthem uh, AVM60. That's literally the only input that this Anthem is going to see on the HDMI side. Uh, this is meant to be your HDMI switcher. So all of my devices are going to be plugged into the Lumigen and the Lumigen will do the video switching. It has the audio output. So you really, you, I mean, it really is a nearly an all in one device. So everything goes in here, audio output to the Anthem AVM60, done deal, that's it. So of course I have other inputs for my audio and some things from the DAC and other items like that. But so yes, that is a Lumigen Radiance Pro. That's the 4446 model and it has the 18 gigahertz cards. So check it out. Um, this is going to be working with a Celerity fiber cable. It's an 80 foot cable. So it's going to be feeding. It's, it's, it's going to come from this rack here, outside here, and to that projector. Okay, so it'll light up the screen over here, 12 foot wide. So the question is can the Celerity and the Lumigen work well together? We'll see. Stay tuned.